a collection of problems by Yas Bugrov and S. M. Nikolsky. Mir Publishers, Moscow. Uh, that was a publishing company uh, in the Soviet Union that would take Russian books and translate them to multiple languages and distribute them all over the world. This is one of those books. This one, though, is in English. And this one has a dust jacket and everything, so it's really quite nice. Um, this one came from Gee Library, Texas A&M University Commerce. So it came from a library. Let's take the dust jacket off so you can see what it looks like there. Okay. And let's see if it has any, uh, you know, like when people check it out, like where you put the library card, but I don't see, I don't see that anywhere. So sometimes you can see, you know, who checked it out and stuff. It's kind of fun. Translated from the Russian by Leonid Levant. First published in the 84, revised from the 82 Russian edition. I just got to give it a whiff. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Let's, let's, let's look at the contents here. What a wonderfully smelling book. Introduction to Analysis. Very nice. Integrals. Fundamentals of Linear Algebra and Analytic Geometry. Turn the page. Functions of several variables, series, differential equations, multiple integrals, vector analysis, Fourier series, and Fourier integral. And then we have functions of a complex variable. And then here we have operational calculus. And you have answers. Let's go to the answers, page 126. And look at this. This is just amazing. Look at all of these answers. All right. Lots of answers here. So you do get quite a bit here. It's pretty amazing. Wow. I just gotta I just gotta smell it again. Ah, amazing. Let's, let's go to the beginning of the book so we can see how it starts. Real numbers and sets. Using the method of mathematical induction, prove the following. So let's, you start off with some uh, induction proofs. That says here, let uh, the set A consist of the youths of a given group and the set B of the girls of the same group. Find A, union B, A, intersect B, etc. Interesting. Huh. Some cool problems here. <clears throat> and here, this is pretty easy. Solve the inequalities. I mean, there, there's some easy stuff, too. It's not insane. It's pretty fun, actually. Some of these problems look pretty fun. Find the smallest term of the following sequences. Oh, that's cool. So this is kind of a really a really cool book if you can get your hands on it. Um, I will look for it if I can find any copies. I'll leave a link in the description, but I don't think I'll uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find any copies of this book. Um, these books are really hard to get, but yeah, this is this is really cool. Systems of differential equations, Euler's equation. Plane. Oh, these are fun. So you do these in, um, you take calculus three, you'll see some of this stuff. Write the equation of the plane passing through the point uh, one, two, negative three, perpendicular to the vector. Oh, that's really simple. Yeah. Write the equation of the plane passing through three points. Also pretty easy. Um, you just find uh, two vectors and you take the, uh, you take the cross product and that gives you a normal vector. And then you have your, uh, your point and your vector so you have your plane. Um, yeah, these are a little bit harder, but still pretty easy. Uh, and then it goes on to uh, something else. Yeah, a little bit harder here. 253. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
pretty cool, pretty cool problems, right? Um, you can have a lot of fun with this stuff. Linear subspaces. Is the following set of vectors a linear subspace? Having odd integral coordinates, having even integral coordinates. Interesting. Relying on the x or y axis. Functions of several variables find and represent the domains of existence of the following functions. Oh, that's fun. That's pretty cool. You get some fun answers here, and you can think about what that domain is geometrically. Like, for example, here, um, you know, whatever, you know, you basically you got to take this and set it greater than or equal to zero, what's inside the radical here, right? Because um, you don't want to take the square root of anything negative. That has to be non-negative because you don't want imaginary numbers. And then you just solve, um, and you get... Uh, you get something there pretty cool and same thing here right mm -hmm. really cool those are fun fun problems fun problems extrema implicit functions conditional extremum differential equations or oh, reducing the order of a differential equation linear equations with the constant coefficients these are really easy these are really easy problems super easy so it's not like this book is filled with like really hard math, you know what I mean? Um, but it has a lot of mathematics. There's a lot here. Um, it's just tons of mathematics. It's great. It's really great. Here we have some Euler equations. Oh yeah, these are cool. These are differential equations. Look at this. Find out which of the systems of functions are linearly independent on zero, one. Oh, ha ha. That's fun. Yeah. Multiple integrals. Change of variables in a multiple integral. Vector analysis. Line integrals of the first kind. Cool. Huh. cauchy riemann conditions. Harmonic functions. Yeah, you see this in um, like a complex variables course. That's where you see uh, stuff like this. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think it's awesome because it has all those answers. And um, yeah, I definitely recommend this book. If you can find a copy, uh, get it, right? I've, I'll, I'll see if I can find any. I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, if you want to learn math, by the way, check out my courses. Uh, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use the links uh, from my website or uh, the description of any, of any of my videos. Uh, otherwise, uh, Udemy takes a huge cut, but it helps me and I lowered the prices, so when you use my links, you should get a really low price. So, yeah. Anyways, this is an interesting book. Um, I just wanted to show it to you. Take care.